Well, hello. We're going to be talking about some business and finance math for the Florida contractor exam. My name is Jack Sheffield. I call myself Jack the Exam Guy. My website is jacktheexamguy.com. And I want you to always feel free to call me. That's my cell phone number, 904-755-4111. Now, just a little general information about the business and finance math. The feedback that I get from people that have taken this exam, sometimes they tell me as much as 30% of the questions are math, sometimes not so much. It varies from, you know, from exam to exam, but you can definitely expect to get at least some math on the exam and up as much as 30%. So there are some schools that just tell you don't worry about the math and you can you know just get all the lookup questions right and you'll be fine and i gotta tell you i think that is a recipe for failure um there the math is not that difficult and i take you through several of the types of math questions that you may be responsible for when you take the uh, business and finance exam uh, math, uh with for the florida contractors okay so what i've done today is i've given i'm giving you a sample question this is uh you can expect to see something very similar to this on the exam all right so the question reads the contractor is securing a loan for twelve thousand dollars payable in a lump sum in 90 days the loan is a simple interest loan with an apr of eight percent the interest is calculated on a 365 day year. What will the payoff be on the loan? All right. Well, when they tell you that the 365 day year, that's the clue that what they want you to figure out the daily interest. Okay, luckily it's simple interest. So it's not that complicated. It's just simple interest. And APR, of course, means annual percentage rate. Okay, and you've got to know that. That means annual. So, you know, so if you think that you can calculate this, um, uh, go ahead and you can hit the pause button and see if you can calculate it. And then you can come back and I'll walk you through it and see if we got it right. OK, so step one, we want to calculate the yearly interest. OK, so it was $12,000 at 8%. So it was $960. If this was simple interest and you had the loan for a year, the interest will be $960, okay? Now, the next step is going to be, we're going to calculate the daily interest. Well, since it's 365 days in the year, that's what they told us, then it was 960 divided by 365, which is $2.63 per day. Now, you uh, they may tell you a 360-day year, okay? So make sure that you're aware of that. Not all the time when they're calculating these things do they use 365 days for the year, but this time they did. So we said, okay, our daily interest was $2.63. Now, how many days were we going to borrow it? 90 days. So it was $2.63 times 90, and we got $236.70 of interest for that loan. And then we add the loan, uh, we total the interest and the principal, and we get $12,236. Seven. Okay. Now you may say, well, hold on a second. It was 2003, uh, 230, 12,236.71. Why wasn't it 2000, uh, 12,236.70? Well, first of all, if you get that close, you probably have the right answer. Okay. So you may be a few pennies, a few dollars, one way or the other. There's a couple, you know, there's, there might be some, uh, some rounding issues. And speaking of, let me kind of show you something that I'd like to do, all right? So what you can do is, you know, every time you write something down, you write a number down, you're, there, there's, a, there's a potential to make a mistake there. So what I like to do is, when possible, just leave the numbers in your calculator. And if you leave all those digits to the right of the decimal point in your calculator, you're actually going to get a more exact number. So let me show you what I mean. Well, if you take, let me get a little pointer out here so I can point this out to you. So if you take your 12,000 times eight and you hit the percent key, okay, it'll give you the actual amount of interest for the year, which is $960, okay? Now, I'd like the calculator, I like to use the calculator when I hit the percent key 
the answer comes up. Okay, so 960. So I'm doing it now. 12,000, turn it on, 12,000 times eight, hit the percent key, $960. Now, you may have a calculator where you have to hit the equal sign again, but if you have the one where you hit the percent sign and $960 comes up, that's the best kind to have. And if you want a link, uh, an Am a link to the Amazon page, where you can get a calculator like I'm holding in my hand right now, then you then I'll send that to you. You can email me and I'll send you the link. Um, so anyway, so so we got our 960. That's our yearly interest. We divide by 365. All right, I'm doing that in my calculator right now, and I hit the equal sign. Now you do have to hit the equal sign there, and it's 263, but it's really a whole lot of digits. There's a whole lot of digits to the right. And if you leave those in there, you're actually going to get a more exact number. So then we multiply it times 90. I'm doing that in my calculator right now. You can follow me along and you get 236. And it's not 236.70. It's actually because of these extra digits, it ended up being 236.71. So it's a more exact answer. And then that's our, that's our uh, interest for 90 days. We add our 12,000 to it. We get 12,236.71 and some change. And we didn't have to round because uh, it's less than five right here. $12,236.71. That's it. You know, and that is a question that at first you might go, wow, we're at 365. What are they talking about here? First of all, simple interest is simple. And annual percentage rates, annual percentage rate. Figure, just figure out your daily interest. Figure out how many days you're borrowing it. That's your total interest. Add it to the principal. Boom, you're done. This has been Jack the Exam Guy, and don't ever let anybody tell you you don't know Jack, because now you do. Now, if you're if you're seeing this video, um, if you're already in the course and you're thinking about purchasing the course, I appreciate your business. If you're seeing this off of YouTube and you uh, and you're you're interested in in finding me, it's JackTheExamGuy.com or call me at 904-755. Thank you so much for your business and thank you for listening.